James Schramko here, and I'm chatting with my mate Gert Malak from SEOleverage.com, and I've been asking him all the hard questions relating to SEO. And one of the ones that I really wanted to ask on behalf of my audience, Gert, what makes a good SEO audit? And I'll give you some context. There's quite a lot of companies out there from popular bloggers uh, who have opt-ins on their site that run you through some simple little tool and give you a, an SEO audit through to really expensive high-level agency firms. But I've heard mixed reviews from people in terms of the result they got back. I know this is of particular interest to my audience because when I used to run an SEO business, we used to do an audit and the audit would actually take us quite a few hours and we had to use a lot of different tools and we put a lot of personal attention into it. So I think we set the bar pretty high back then. But I'd love to know what you think as an SEO professional, a good audit should have as a minimum. And I'm also, of course, curious to know what kind of audits you're providing over at seoleverage.com. That's an excellent question. This is a point that's very often brought up when I talk to clients or site owners, really, because they probably already received three or four audits when they, before they talk to me. Very often they have been in SEO for a while or have been doing SEO. The thing is that most audits, and I, I sometimes then get some of those, and they just forward them to me and say, take a look and let me know how your audit is different, for example. And what we see really is, first of all, most of them are automated, which really, really shocks me because there's just no way you can assess a site with an automated audit. You just It's like filling in a questionnaire instead of going to the doctor, right? It's really, really similar. Uh, there's just no way everything can be assessed without someone with enough experience assessing your site in your industry in a certain moment in time, five years ago, two years ago, half a year ago. is not the same thing as now. We want to have someone who can assess this and the tools probably have been created five years ago and they're still doing the same thing. Okay, just as an example here. Then an e-commerce site needs to be assessed completely differently than a blog or than a coaching site or then across different industries to have different goals. If your goal is leads or your goal is sales, it's a completely different thing. Some sites have the goal of affiliate clicks. So we want to check out what are the calls to action really to send people to the affiliate. So um, definitely it needs to be a manual audit and it needs to be uh, depending on your industry and on your situation and a certain moment in time we are in. Just had an audit on a site that lost 80% of traffic with a ranking Google update. The assessment is very different from a site that's doing pretty well and just wants to grow. So it's completely different. The, the action list that should come out, by the way, and good audit should have a prioritized list of action steps. It should not be only a list of do this, do this, do this. There are priorities based on impact. And this is where we assign, essentially designed our audit and we're still tweaking it after years of using it. We're still tweaking the template and adding new things. I just discovered a new uh, way of analyzing the Google knowledge graph and we're going to put this in as well because it's really interesting. A good audit is first of all manual. A good audit is going to take a few days. It's not something you can get immediately. And in our case, for example, it takes four people a week in order to do an audit. So four people are going to deal with this uh, website and we add a lot of things that are not only assessing the current site, but are only going to set uh, the groundstone for future work. So this would be, for example, a complete content audit where you say, okay, how is the content performing? If there is no content audit in your site audit, you're missing out on a very actionable step of pruning existing content, repurposing old content, recycling old content, bringing it back. This is a very quick win. People completely underestimate and no single audit I've seen so far does have a content audit included. You can purchase it as an extra, but it's not included. We always do this. In our case, our audit, and I think we're getting very good results just with the audit already, it's divided up in four phases. So phase one is really a document about the site's current status. What's the search performance in general? What's the geographic targeting? What is and the usability, there should be a usability study. There should be someone checking out your website on a mobile phone and giving you some hints of what could be the potential user experience, blocks and obstacles and stuff like that. We have phase two, which is completely focusing on content from a very extensive keyword research in your niche. So you know what you can be writing about, where you're already ranking, which keywords you're missing out to a gap analysis where you see where are you getting traffic or where are you getting your competitors getting traffic where you don't even rank. So you can build up this content and bridge essentially this gap uh, to the content audit where you really know what is the search performance of all my URLs 
over the last six months. And you're going to discover, especially on large sites, that there are a few hundred URLs that don't even co come up in search, let alone that if then somebody clicks on them or not. But search results not coming up SEO is really a good sign that you need to revise if you can get rid of those and stop wasting some crawl budget or processing time from Google, really, and have Google focus on the articles you really want and can rank and people are really interested in. Or sometimes this is also a sign where we need to freshen up the content we had a few years back and just make sure that it is based on today's standards when it comes to the level of engagement, to the level of uh, structure and interlinking and surrounding content as well. Then we have phase three is really technical. So this is uh, we analyzing tools, uh, reports and say, okay, what is missing just the really to get the technical basics right. This is probably the only thing uh, where an automated audit can probably get it 50% right at least. Checking the basics, do you have a title tag, do you have any duplications on your website, so really basic things. And then phase four is really a link audit where we audit the entire link profile with the best industry leading tool here and then give you an idea about what is the penalization risk. Negative SEO is a thing that exists and this means that sometimes competitors send negative links to a site or people have engaged in like shady practices in the past that even maybe worked a few years back but don't work anymore but they still have all those negative links pointing to the site and this there might be a necessity of disavowing those links meaning telling Google to really ignore those links when it comes to determining your ranking so they don't harm you and you're not getting haunted from something from the past here. You want to have a, a very good assessment. So the, the audit really comprises a status report, a content, an idea of content, uh, outlining what should be written in what structure on your website. We check usability, we check the technical basis, and we also shed a light on the backlinks here. And I think this is really what it takes, and it takes multiple people. It's not something some an individual person should be doing, in my opinion, because everybody with XAO experience is going to have a slightly different approach and coming up with additional ideas. And we hand those audits really, first of all, we create them uh, across the team with multiple people in the first place, but then we hand them over two additional steps for review, for additional ideas, for uh, maybe different points of view, etc. until we come out with an audit we're really happy with where we say, okay, this is an actionable audit, and then we create an action items list. So our clients get a list with priorities where it says urgent. Sometimes we discover things that should really be fixed as soon as possible, which we even point out before we hand out the audit if it's really urgent. And then we have high, medium, low priority, and this is how people then should focus on working on those audits, on those things, because it, not everything has the same impact on SEO, on your site, on your performance. But we also have seen that if people focus on the right things and implement quickly afterwards, they can get 30, 50 percent or more performance boost, depending on what state the site was afterwards, just by fixing things that come out of the audit. And then they already have a roadmap to follow after fixing this and creating this base foundation to build up upon. Yeah, that's a massive gain. This sounds like a paid audit. It is definitely a paid audit. Yeah, it'd right? want to be. It's definitely oh, a like paid the audit. manpower alone, four people for a week. How much does an audit like this cost? You can probably expect to to pay any anywhere between fifteen hundred two thousand dollars for an audit like this. Uh, it's really for uh, for people working a lot of hours with high paid tools. We just in, the, in our agency, I think we pay three thousand dollars every month just for the tools we use in order to create this level of of analysis and this level of audits for our clients here. Basically, you're going to get a complete map of what you've got and all of the steps to implement, whether you do that yourself or with some other contractor or with you guys, uh, mm. then you know what to do. You're getting It's like hiring an architect to survey your land and come up with the building plans to make your most magnificent building, and then you can choose who's going to build it. Uh, I love Absolutely. it. Gert, thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, Gert Malik there from seoleverage.com. If you've got the kind of website where you feel like getting better SEO or 30% or a 50% improvement in your yeah, search engine organic traffic could be useful for you, then I would recommend you get the audit. Certainly, we've been using Gert for superfastbusiness.com and seeing tremendous results from it. Thanks, Gert. Thank you very much, James. Great to be here.